Hello everyone, welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are. And where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates. Parliament approves further increase in number of ministers. The approval comes after President Museveni on June 10th told MPs during budget reading that he was considering appointing former Kasese Municipality Mayor Godfrey Baluku Kabianga as minister. The Monday motion, which was also moved by West Budama North MP Fox Odoi, sought to have an additional Minister of State to hold the portfolio of the Minister of State for Information, Communication and National Guidance. Once again, thanks for joining us, but let's take more look into some of these details. The Parliament has approved further increment in the number of ministers from 80 to 81, barely a week after the same House voted to increase Cabinet by the creating opposition of a state minister for the elderly. During a House sitting chaired by Deputy Speaker Anita Mang on Monday, 14th June 2021, MPs adopted the motion to vary the number of other ministers in accordance with Article 113 of 2 and Article 114 of 3 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, despite objection from a section of legislators, MPs, especially from opposition. The Monday motion, which was also moved by West Budama North MP Fox Odoi, sought to have an additional Minister of State to hold the portfolio of the Minister of State for Information, Communication and National Guidance. The approval comes after President Museveni on June 10th told MPs during budget reading that he was considering appointing former Kasese Municipality Mayor Godfrey Baluku Kabianga as Minister. The president released his new cabinet list on 8th of June, but while delivering his budget speech last Thursday, Mr. M7 told MPs that Kasese was left out of the appointments yet. It is a key district he is keen on winning over from the opposition. Mr. M7 told members of parliament that Mr. Kabianga's name had been on the list. He compiled furtively, but was forgotten by the person who typed it out. He insisted that Kasese must have a minister before he promised to send a full cabinet list that includes Kavianga's name to the House. While seconding the motion for variation of ministers on Monday, Bugweri County MP Abdul Katuntu said, When you look at all sub-regions, they have representation, but there is none from Kasese, and yet the Constitution states the cabinet should reflect national character. Uh, but to Kalung West MP Joseph Gonzaga Sewungu, it was surprising that members of parliament from Kasese were fighting for one minister in cabinet and not fighting for their king. Uh, Omsinga Charles Wesley Mumbere, who has been in incarceration and can't access his kingdom, which was raided by security operatives in 2006 before he was arrested and prosecuted. And he also added on saying that we don't need to decide on Kasese, but we need to balance the board to ensure that the country is served equally. Kilaki North Anthon Akol echoed. However, Tororo District Woman MP Miss Sarah Opendi urged MPs not to attach variation of ministers to Kasese. There is no mention of Kasese in the motion, otherwise, other districts which are missing will come out demanding for inclusion, she said. Last month, President Museven asked the NRM Parliamentary Caucus to approve the demand for creation of the position of a state minister for the elderly. So the Rafael Kaguta Museven comes out saying that he mentioned his name, he mentioned his name, but actually something happened and they couldn't put his name in this, maybe someone eliminated it. So he's asking the parliament to work on that so that they can fix the Kasese MP to be one of the ministers. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching. But we'll keep on updating with more of this. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button.